We tried ChatGPT team for our agency and this is what we found out. We actually didn't like it and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. In a sense, most of what they say on their pricing page is true. You do get many more features, ability to connect it to Google Drive, higher message limits, other reasoning models. You do get admin, console, and unified billing. Your data will not be used to train their GPT and also you can create and share custom GPTs with the workspace. Where we found it severely lacking was the collaborative workspace features and the organizational features that GPT Plus membership is already doing much better. Let's dive into our platform and let me show you. We currently have three members and two custom GPTs. When you upgrade from a personal plus account to a team account, the system will create a new account for you and you keep your personal account intact. The membership on that personal account will continue to be billed unless you cancel it, which I thought was quite weird because normally if you're upgrading and paying for a team account, they should merge together, but that is not the case here. Coming here to our team space on the left, it looks very similar to the GPT Plus plan with a few differences. Let's talk about custom GPTs. In order to create a custom GPT and share it with your workspace, you enable that uh, feature and when you share it with a team, the teammate has to come to explore, click on my GPTs, click on shared with me and they'll be able to see Right now you don't see it because I'm the one that created them, but they'll be able to see the GPTs here and then they have to pin it to the left side. So it's not a very straightforward process from the moment of creating the GPT until the moment that your teammate can see it on the left side. And it took us a little of digging around in order to figure that out. That is it in terms of collaboration. There isn't really any more collaboration features on this platform. You do get projects, but the project folders are not visible or shareable with your team. And you do get your regular chats as well, but again, they're not shareable or visible for other people. Aside from the share button right here that ChatGPT Plus members already have. There's two other weird behaviors that I want to show you, which is if you start a chat here with your GPT, let's say, hi, how are you? This chat is going to appear here on your daily chat history. However, when you click on the option to arrange it and organize it inside of a project, you do not have that option. Therefore, every time you create a new chat with your custom GPT, it's going to go into chat messiness here on the left hand side and you will lose that conversation to all of the bulk of the conversations you have. So there is no way to organize any chats that you have with your custom GPTs, something we found very lacking. The other thing, the other behavior that is weird is that if you just come to the regular GPT and you ask it anything, you start a conversation, okay? That conversation as normal will open up here again and a new chat, right? However, this conversation, as opposed to the one that you open with your custom GPT, you are able to add it to a project, which we thought was shocking. How come you're able to do that with one, but not with the other? Chat GPT, when you ask this question to the actual GPTs, it tells me about a, or it told me about a workaround. The workaround is to use the project folder as the custom GPT and come here and essentially, um, let's edit this, essentially copy all of this, which is the instructions for that GPT, come to the actual folder and paste these here, which I did and then add any files you need. So that means that anytime you open a chat inside of this project, it's going to be shaped by the instructions you gave it. But upon further research, we understood that when you are doing this, this is not the same as building a custom GPT. This is more or less shaping. Um, it's called guardrails is what I read. Shaping more or less how this GPT reacts versus when you're building the custom GPT, you're actually creating 
or tweaking the code in a way that is much more in depth. Apart from that, it's it has the same functionalities as GPT plus. And the sad part about it too, is that you lose access to the library. This beautiful library that was a feature that just got rolled out into GPT plus we lose access to that. So that was our take on this. Not really a very collaborative tool, not really something that is going to help us to collaborate together. I did dig up some alternatives like Abacus Chat LLM. It's pretty incredible so far. This one, Team GPT and Brain Chat AI. We're going to be testing these three alternatives in the next 30 days and creating videos for you to see the demos and what we found out and liked or not liked about them. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.